Miami Dolphins general manager Chris Greer shocked the NFL world this offseason when he sent five draft picks to the Kansas City Chiefs in exchange for wide receiver Tyreek Hill. Then, he did it again by giving him a contract extension that paid him $30 million annually. Through nine games, Hill has rewarded Miami with impressive numbers. He's leading the league in receptions, 76, and receiving yards, 1,104, and he's on pace to break Calvin Johnson's single-season receiving record, 1. 964. While Hill is an exceptional athlete and is deserving of a new of his own credit, he's taking the opportunity to shine a light on head coach Mike McDaniel, who has gotten great results out of the offense, he just truly unlocked me to be a true number one receiver, Hill told to Albert Breer. If I had to choose any answer to pinpoint on what he has done for me in my career, he has truly turned me into a full receiver who really runs the full root tree. So teams really got to respect that. I'm breaking in, I'm breaking out. I'm breaking short, I'm going deep. It's not a one-dimensional thing, man. So he's able to put me off the ball, he's able to put me on the ball, send me in motion, all kinds of gadget things to help me get open. I'm really thankful to just be in this situation. During his time in Kansas City, Hill made six straight Pro Bowls and received three All-Pro selections, recording 6,630 yards and 56 touchdowns. However, the wide receiver seems to be happy in Miami. And it's not just him. He's noticing his teammates are enjoying things as well. For this whole team, I'm looking at the guys right now, I'm on the plane and I'm just seeing how well all the guys get along," Hill said. There's not a moment in our locker room where you see an individual player sitting alone or not talking to somebody, whether it's about football or whether it's about life. And to me, that's why we all really get into sports, just to have that brotherhood, just to have that camaraderie with each other, man. Because that really is what builds true championship teams. So for me, everything was already here. Hill is having the best season of his career, and the Dolphins are 6-3, as they appear destined for a playoff spot for the first time since 2016. What's there to be unhappy with?